Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be doing an installation walkthrough video guide for how to install this Campark HD um, dual rear view mirror dash cam system. I'm going to be installing it on my wife's 2013 Toyota Sienna. Um, we had one installed on our old van, but uh, two deer decided to kamikaze on the hood of it, and so that one died, and now we have a 2013, um, which is a nice vehicle but it doesn't have dash cam systems and boy i tell you what nowadays with the way people are driving you'd better have a dash cam well I, what i love about these uh, systems right here is they're a rear view mirror let me go ahead and take it out of the box now i already took it out of the box and was going to install it on a different vehicle uh, but i decided against that one and uh, so i just already have it kind of unwound here so there's your rear your rear uh, view camera right there and let me get the uh, front part out okay so here's the mirror and it just clips onto your existing mirror it has these little straps that holds it on and it has the camera up here and then this one goes to the rear of the of the car so that you can have a a rear camera so that camera on the last minivan actually caught the wreck of the deer now I'm gonna show you a little clip of that and guys I'm just gonna warn you it's a little disturbing uh, so don't look away because uh, I'm, I'm going to cut the audio because it was quite dramatic, but I'm going to show you what it caught. All right, so, you know, these dual dash cam systems, especially this kind with the rear view mirror, I like it because it goes over the rear view mirror and it gives you a good mirror to look back with, but also it's got the screen right here. You can kind of, I don't know if you, I'll try to angle it so you can kind of see there's that kind of square where the screen is. Um, I've always enjoyed that. I really liked it on our old minivan, the one that got wrecked by the deer. Uh, not too long ago, before we wrecked it, I was driving down the road and at a, at a red light, and you know I caught a, a bad wreck on on camera. Not not a life threatening wreck, but a, a wreck. And there was a dispute there um, because I was a witness. I stood by, and when the cops came by and asked me, I showed them the footage and was able to resolve that issue by showing them the footage using this uh, as a screen. So, anyways. You know, the rear camera can catch people doing things behind you. If I, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but in my life, I've had it happen more than once. If somebody rear ends me and then claims it's my fault. Well, not with a rear end camera because it's going to show the exact time and date and what they did. So it's really good to have these things. Now, um, the installation is going to be go pretty simple. I'm just going to walk you through it and then um, show you how it works. All right. So the first thing we need to do is install the mirror right here. And it's going to cover up your existing mirror. So if you have some special functions on your existing mirror, like this one has garage door opener and stuff like that, um, then you're probably going to need a different kind of a dash cam system. I don't use any of these functions, so I don't care about those buttons being covered up. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So it goes right over your existing mirror and it uses these little straps like this that you, you hook right in here, like so, okay? And then you're gonna stretch them over. Now, this has a pretty thick mirror on it, so it really takes some, uh, some stretching to get these things around. I like to reach around back, stretch this out. This one's the most difficult one. It's pretty thick right in here, and up. And in like that all right so now that's that's firmly attached there okay so now we're gonna connect the power to it let's see where it connects up here connects right here okay and now we're gonna just put it up here if you lift up here, there's a little bit of give in this little cover, and you can just run the wire right along the top. Just push it in, uh, in there, and run it over to the side.
All right, so you can see I ran it all the way around, up and underneath here, and brought it in. I kind of tied up the extra wire back in there so I didn't have any loose hanging around. So that's how I've powered the camera there. Now, I'll probably go in here with some tape and secure it up underneath the dash where, so it won't fall out and get in my feet. But uh, that's how you route that wire right there. And now on the Sienna, or on any minivan, there is a real big question of where to put the camera on the car. Um, so if you put it underneath the bumper, you run the risk of it getting knocked off. You put it on the back of the bumper or on top of the little foot rest there. You know, it could get hit and stepped on when people are accessing the back. Um, the car has a built-in backup camera on it, but it's a really small one and a little screen up top. It's over on the you can see it over on the left-hand side of the, the underneath the latch area there. There's one right there. So that's the most convenient and best place to put one, but that raises another problem, which is how do you route the wire? But the way I ran it on my last Sienna seemed to work okay. I'm gonna run it the same way on this one, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, so we wanna put the camera up in here. There's already this tail light right here. We want to put it over here, mount it up to this. But we got to get the wire in through this area right here. And so this is going to take a little doing, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to need to get this back panel off here. So you'll see there's a little place right here where you're intended to put a tool in, but you don't really need that tool. Just put your fingers in there and kind of gently pull straight down. It'll pop out, and then you see the clip right there. There's a clip right here and just go ahead and do that all the way around with your, your fingers sliding around the edge and pop the back off. Okay, so there's no hole on the inside for us to go through especially not something the camera will go through. But we actually don't need the camera to go through. We just need something, a hole big enough for this to go through. And then we'll feed this wire all through from the inside. So by taking this little license plate light out right here, popping it out, we're gonna provide ourselves enough space in here to get this wire through from the back side, And we'll feed it in from the back side. The problem is, is there's no extra room for around this fitting right here for this wire. So once we get this wire through, the fitting's not gonna come back in. So we're gonna have to drill a little hole next to it so that this wire can have a space for to be when we put the, the uh, license plate light back in its socket. So I'm just gonna drill a little hole in there. Now let's run the wire back through there. All right, now we're just gonna pull the wire. All the way through. This red wire is going to run over here to the reverse light. Okay, so let's push this wire over to the side and put our license plates light back into its socket. Okay, so this red wire we need to run over here to our reverse light. So turn your ignition key to the on position, see which bulb is your reverse light. It'll be your white re uh, lens on the back of your car. and. Uh, just to make sure, we'll pull, that's the, the reverse light right there. So this needs to be connected into the power wire on the reverse light. Now we can see the light is on here, and, but this thing has three wires to it. Now, most probably the red wire is the hot wire, but to test that out, I'm gonna use a DC tester light, which is simply just a device. You connect this to a ground, like this little metal bolt right here, now, it won't connect to the painted body because that won't provide a good ground. You want, you want bare metal like that bolt. And then I'm just going to run it up in here 
And you see that light, I ran it right up in this wire socket and it gave me a light. So that tells me that is definitely the hot wire. Okay, so I'm gonna use a T connector to connect to this red, red wire right here. It's a pretty tight space, but uh, just kind of slide this insulation back up on it just a little bit. So with this T connector, there's no need for cutting the wire. We'll just put it through like this. Line that wire right up on there. And then using a pair of pliers, we'll crimp it in on there, like that. Okay, now that's made a connection. All right, now I'm gonna use one of these red connectors here. And you see the hole in there. I'm gonna push that up inside there, okay? Using the, the red dot here is the right crimp connector for this. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that's all the way up in there. You wanna crimp that real good. Okay, connect your blade connector to the end of the wire and then just put that in there. Now, it's important to test this connection out before we go any further, so I'm just gonna run this wire right up to the front of the car and hook it to the mirror and turn, put the car in reverse and make sure that the backup camera is working. Okay, so I went up front, plugged it in, and put the car in reverse, and I saw that it switched to the, re the reverse camera, so this connection up here is fine. So now we can go ahead and tie everything, put everything up, and, and route the wires to the front, you know, through the side. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, this wire right here, we're just going to run inside this right here. And you may not have to take this off to get it in, just kind of open it up enough to get the wire in behind this thing. It will come off if you pry it off, but let's try not to have to do that. Just push it in behind there. And you want to come down all the way to this joint right here. Okay, so here the door is in the full open position, so we know we have enough slack for it to open. Now you want to leave just a little extra slack there's a little joint right here on this molding and what we're going to go in is in behind that. Want to get that in behind that molding. And then tuck it up in there may have to use a screwdriver or something push it back up in there and go all the way to the front of this right here they go in these little squares right here so that tells you put those in first and that helps you hook this on and then line up and start pushing it in
Okay, so we're going to put this up underneath here. There's flat plastic underneath here. Now, you could screw it in, but I'm just going to use some double-sided sticky tape here, some 3M tape. Just going to cut this to size. So, just going to cut that off. Stick this on here, real good. Want to make sure this is real clean. Make sure we got our position right. Right there. Pull that off. Stick that up on there real good. Now we want to set our, our angle here and tighten this up. Put that up a little higher. solid all right let's give it a try we've got it installed now let's take it for a test drive okay so we got it going here um, that's the forward camera that's the little one's the rear camera if you want to switch between the cameras you can click there and there's your forward there's your rear camera that's forward camera that's rear camera and then go back to there just give you some footage as we go down the road here um, see how how good it is for you okay so let me throw the rear view footage up for you all right guys well that's how you install this camera on a Toyota Sienna uh, 2013 but it'll fit 2011 all the way up to 2019 I believe same same process um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have please like subscribe and comment I will throw a link to this product in the description of the video if you're interested in it until next time this is the jungle Explorer signing out